This is exercise 4-1, part A. In this part of the homework, we are given the key and the triad, and we have to supply the Roman numeral below the staff. Be sure your Roman numeral is the correct type and include base position symbols. Finally, provide an appropriate lead sheet symbol above the staff using slash chord notation where appropriate. So actually, we're gonna do this in reverse. We're gonna find the lead sheet notation first, then we're going to uh, supply the Roman numeral. So let's look at this first one. Here we're in alto clef, we have a chord that is C, E flat, and G. We can see this is already in root position because it's stacked in a snowman, it's all stacked in thirds. So all we have to do to figure out what chord this is, is to look at what intervals are in the chord. So here, between C and E flat is a minor third, between C and G is a perfect fifth, so that I know that this is a minor chord with a root of C. So this is a C, and because of the interval structure, minor third and perfect fifth above the root, this is a C minor chord. So that part's done. C minor. Now to figure out the Roman numeral, we're given this key of E flat. Uh, you should definitely have staff paper for this, some scratch staff paper. Eventually, the more practice you do, you'll be able to do most of this in your head. But for now, nothing wrong with doing scratch paper. So here, I've written out an E-flat major scale. I've just used treble clef because that's what I read the easiest. You can use whatever clef you like. Uh, so we want to place the C minor chord in the context of E-flat major. So we want to know... Where is C in the E flat major scale? Well, C is the one, two, three, four, five, sixth scale degree. C is the submediant. So that means that the C minor chord, any chord built off of the C in the key of E flat major, will be a sixth chord. And since this is a minor chord, we want to use a lowercase Roman numeral. So lowercase Roman numeral six, V I. So that is our Roman numeral. Some of these will not be in root position. Like if we scan ahead a little bit, um, if we look at, for example, number four here, number four we can see is not in root position, so we have one extra step. So here I've copied it over. We can tell this is not in root position because it's not stacked in thirds. It's not a nice, neat snowman. We have a mix of notes that are on lines and one note that is on a space. So first step, we have to rewrite this so that it's a snowman. So I'm gonna keep these two notes on lines, B flat and D. And then for this F, I'm going to find an F that is on a line. Well, there's an F up here. So that makes a nice, neat snowman. So now that it's in root position, I can tell that this is a B flat chord of some kind, B flat. And then just like I did earlier with the C minor chord, I'm gonna look at the interval structure. So B flat to D, it'll take you longer to figure this out than me, but I know that B flat to D is a major third. And B flat to F, turns out to be a perfect fifth. So major third, perfect fifth, that means that this is a major triad. So if we go back here, we can put in, this is a B flat major chord, but it has an F as the bass note. So I'll put a diagonal slash F. Now we'll do the same thing that we did before. We're gonna put it in context of G minor. So here I've written out a G minor scale. You'll notice that I have uh, in parentheses here the sharp uh, because most chords in a minor key will use harmonic minor, but some might use natural minor. So some chords might have an F sharp, some chords might have an F natural, in this case in G minor. So be aware of that. But other than that, we'll do the same thing. So B flat in the key of G minor, G A B flat, B flat is the three chord, it's a major chord, so I'll use uppercase, three, and then I need to think about what the bass position symbol should be. So F was our bass note, and looking at how we stack the chord up, we can see that F is the fifth of the chord, so the bass position symbol for when the fifth of the chord is in the bass 
is 6, 4. So as spelled here, this is a 3, major 3, 6, 4. And those base position symbols you just have to memorize. Right? Either 6, 6, 4, or nothing if it's root position.